Hey guys, Erwin Tech here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Photoshop in a browser. This is a little trick I picked up a couple weeks ago and I'm going to be showing you how to use it today. If you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. If you want to support my channel even more, you can buy my memberships. They are linked in the description below as always. Or you can hit the little join button right next to the subscribe button and gain access to monthly perks such as gifts, emojis, badges next to your name, and live streams and comments. You can also get a secret members only Discord and secret members only live streams. I'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time. Let's just get straight into the video. Alrighty everyone, so before we start this tutorial, I'm going to make a quick announcement that all these links to these websites will be in the description below as always. Just note that this will work in almost every web browser. Most of it will be probably Chrome, Safari, Firefox. It will work in most of the highly populated browsers, but they should work in all browsers, so yeah. So basically what you want to do is go to these two Photoshop in the browser websites, which will be linked in the description below as always. The first one is the real Photoshop in the browser, Adobe Photoshop Express. They made this little thing that you can use in the browser to edit photos and stuff like that. So let's say I want to upload a file that I can do that or I can use a sample image. Let's use this sample image right here. I really like it. And then you got Adobe Photoshop in the browser. You can resize the image. Let's say I really just want his face. I can kind of shorten it right here, tone it down, re resize image. And then you got that. Let's say I want to do some art effects. Hmm, cartoon style. Uh, I have to sign in for that. And let's say I want to remove the background. I got to sign in for that. I can adjust the image. So let's say I want to increase the softness. Let's, that looks cool. Black and white. Make it a bit lighter. Just kind of like that. Let's say I can do details, exposure. Put that up a bit. Contrast. That little down a little bit. White. That up. Blacks, put it down. Then you got your amazing photo just like that with doing all those little tweaks and stuff like that for Adobe Photoshop Express. You can tweak your photo and stuff like that. But now onto a real Photoshop in the browser. This is just the stuff where you can edit photos using Photoshop Express in the browser. But now I'm going to show you a real one. Just note for the Adobe Photoshop Express, you will need to sign up for an account. But now onto the next Photoshop in the browser. Alrighty guys, so this is called Photopea. It's basically a Photoshop clone. They took all the contents of Photoshop and basically copied it and called it Photopea. I don't know why, but I use this for all my videos. You just hit new project, then you can just use a, let's say I want a Twitter header or a Facebook event image. I'm gonna do a Twitter header, click create. You can do a bunch of templates. Let's say I want a new solid, I can do that. Color fill. If you're familiar with Photoshop, then you know what I'm doing. You can just do that. Let's add some text right here. I can type text. Hey guys, tutorial. And then I can basically just grab it, increase the font size and everything, make it huge. And then I can kind of shrink it down just a bit, hold shift. There we go. And then I can make these, all these kind of logos, whatever you want to make in Photoshop, basically. You can make anything you want, but these are basically the two Photoshop in the browser that you can use. I mainly use Photopea, Adobe Photoshop Express a lot for my YouTube videos. So I highly recommend you try these out. All links will be in the description below. And yeah, this is basically how you get Photoshop in the browser. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. If you want to support my channel even more, you can buy my memberships. They are linked in the description below as always. Or you can hit that little join button right next to the subscribe button and gain access to monthly perks such as gifts, emojis, and way more. They are all linked in the description below. Another perk to subscribe to my channel is you can comment down below, I subscribed, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. So here are those people who commented down below i subscribed go search them up on youtube go subscribe to the channel and show them some support i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time bye